Hi, it's Miss Terry from the Crystal Lake Public Library, and today I am dressed up for Halloween. Can you guess what I'm dressed up as? I've got this big hat on, big pointy hat. I think that kind of gives it away, doesn't it? If you said witch, you are right. I am dressed as a witch today, and I have a story I'd like to read to you. It is called A Beastie Story. It's by Bill Martin Jr. and Stephen Kellogg, and it's published by Voyager Books, Harcourt, Inc. Now, on the cover of this book, it says, Take a look inside this book. Between the covers, a strange beast hovers. Oh, gosh. Do you think these mice will be afraid of the beast? Let's find out. A beastie story. And here it starts out. It's just a picture of something there in that tree. And there they're driving in this, somebody's driving in this truck. It says Nick's Tricks and Hank's Pranks. So that might be a clue about what could be happening. A beastie story. Oh, I see Nick and Hank here. They're cutting something. They seem to be putting something together. It says, this way to the dark, dark wood. It's getting darker and darker and darker. Let's light our candles. So they are going to light their candles and walk through the woods. In a dark, dark wood, there is a dark, dark house. It says, the house is dark brown. I'll write that down. So one of the mice is writing down everything that happens. In the dark brown house, there is a dark, dark stair. What color are those stairs? Here's what the mice say. This is strange, a color change. The stair ahead is dark, dark red. Down the dark red stair, there's a dark, dark cellar. Do you see the color of the cellar walls? It says, here the color changes too. The cellar is dark, dark blue. They seem like they're having fun. In the dark blue cellar, there is a dark, dark cupboard. It says, what color is it? Can you guess? Dark, dark purple. Yes, yes, yes. In the dark purple cupboard, there is a dark, dark bottle. What color is that bottle? Over here. It says, I've never seen a darker green. Well, there is something inside the dark green bottle. <gasps> Jeepers Creepers! poor mice going to do next? They look scared. It floats out of the dark green bottle through the dark purple cupboard. Seems like it's coming after them. A beast that flies with yellow eyes. No 
dear. Across the dark blue cellar and up the dark red stair. Follow that beast. They're gonna follow it. They're not too scared, are they? They're just gonna follow that beast and see where it is going. Out of the dark brown house and into the dark, dark night. There it goes, it's floating along. It's going in the fireplace. It disappeared and left no trace. It disappeared and left no track. It's up above the chimney stack. Let's see what happens next. <gasps> Through the dark, dark wood toward an even darker house. And there go the mice chasing after it. Into a dark orange room where a white beast rises. Oh, something's under there. What could that be? Do you think that's a ghost? Let's see. And grabs him. There is a flash of light. Oh, somebody turned a lamp on. And these guys are saying, wow, what a surprise. It's Nick and Hank in beastie disguise. Oh, there's Nick and Hank of Nick and Hank's pranks. They were the beast all along. They were in disguise. The room is filled with sounds of beastie laughter. <laughs> it was one of Nick's tricks. It was one of Hank's pranks. Look at those big eyes. They're actually balloons. Do you see the balloons? Followed by beastie snores. They're all so tired. They're just going to go to sleep all in one bed. It says, sleep, 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 sleep. And there they go to sleep. Oh, there's that dragon. It says, good night. I love you. Dragon has a little teddy bear there. And that was a beastie story by Bill Martin Jr. and Stephen Kellogg. I hope you enjoyed that story today.